Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thank you for joining me and take a time out of your day to craft, create, and check out my videos. Today I have a little supply haul from three different locations, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and my Northern New England Goodwill, or Goodwill NNE, I think they call it. So these are what I picked up at Dollar Tree. They are two different style napkins. They're gonna be for um, decoupaging um, some unconventional items. And I saw them and I thought they would be really pretty. So this is the code for that one. And then this is the code here for the colorful one there. And I'm not sure if they are like a full sheet or not, but we can check that out. So it looks like this one is only a center napkin, but that's okay because I really am going to be using about this size. So that will work for me. And I'm wondering if this one is also going to be a center napkin as well, where it's the same company. Yeah, that one is also a center napkin as well. But the colors were really pretty. Kind of gives off a, like a quilt vibe. So that was all I got from the Dollar Tree. And then my Goodwill here is pretty big. So I got my Hobby Lobby one. So I'm starting to drink tea or trying to find a tea and um, realized that I've been using a standard coffee cup. So I haven't found one I've liked. I think I've been watering down the flavors too much. So I'm gonna try a teacup and I really liked this the color on this one doesn't say whether it's microwave safe or not on it but I thought it's the perfect size for me for a teacup and it's not really overly dainty and I really love the orange color it's got that little bit of lip of a brown going around the top there and that was a dollar then I saw this quilt block book and it was also a dollar and I liked it because it shows you how it's all pieced together for every quilt block so it shows you all the little measurements and everything that you need and what you need of those so there are a lot in there to look at and then I got two pieces of fabric um, this one here will go really good with another piece that I have and it's striped and it was about two yards and then my my husband said this would look really good as a tote bag so I and I agreed so I got this one and it is a jungle themed fabric it's got the elephant giraffe zebra um, tiger parrots and it's really pretty um, I think that I think it's a gazelle maybe or an antelope I'm not sure the lion but it has all the animals and there was about two yards of that as well and then we needed a mixing bowl and they're doing the gray color this week um, for 50% off in ours so this was originally six down to three dollars and I've never heard of the company that's the company name um, not sure any other information about it I just really loved the colors and since we gave all of our mixing bowls to our family and friends that needed some, this one was perfect to replace that. And then my Hobby Lobby haul. I went for unconventional fabrics for my haul. And I am so happy I did. The Christmas stuff is 90% off at my store. And um, I picked this fabric remnant up. Uh, it's cotton and burgundy colored. It was $1.79. And then my unconventional fabrics, they are fabrics, they're just not um, your normal that you would think to use to make bags and such out of. 
So I saw this towel and it is Sleigh Bell Bistro. It has that pretty little um, updo with the green hair um, woman on there. So I grabbed two of those and I thought they would make a cute little tote bag. I think I could remove this red trim and not need that on there. I think it's just something that they added. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just remove that completely off of there. But I thought it would be really cute as a tote bag with that pink there. So I got two of those and then there were these herringbone, I think that's what they call this pattern, herringbone, um, hand towels, kitchen towels, and they were 49 cents each so I grabbed four of those. I wanted to leave some for other people um, so I grabbed um, four of them. And I really love the color and they are that pattern all the way through. It's a nice sturdy um, dish towel. And then I saw these plaid and I love the green tartan um, and they were 29 cents. They're a good size I think for a bag. Open it up here. It's a good size to do a small tote bag with. So as you can see, very nice size. We make a nice tote bag. And I'm not sure if it gives the measurements on here. 18 by 18, so that's the perfect size. And they're calling them napkins. But I, I thought they were really nice. And I grabbed three of eight, um, six total of that one. And that there is the code for that one. Then they had this fabric tablecloth for $24.99. So it was 90% off, so I paid $249. And it was 60, it's 60 by 84, so I'll get quite a lot out of that. And I really love the, the plaids. And then let me move these out of the way so you can see the others here. These are placemats, and I'm going to be turning the placemats into bags as well. So I grabbed three of this one. I'll turn my flash off so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, that didn't work. Flash on it. So it's got this silvery fleck pattern in there. And then on the other side, it's just got a plain white. So I think these will be really nice as a bag. They'll make some nice sized bags and they're really pretty with that silvery pattern. So I grabbed three of those because that was all they had left on those. I was hoping for more but they only had three and that there is the code on those. But I think they'll make really pretty tote bags with the, the sparkliness of them. They'd be great for Mother's Day or even for Christmas next year, this year, almost said next year. And then this one has bells on it. It's gonna be, of course, taking those bells off. And it's called a sweater knit placemat. And yes, I wanna turn this into a bag as well. And I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to take the placemats and turn them into bags. But I absolutely love the crisscross pattern that it has on here. And they have this lining on the back, which is really pretty. And these gold bells, they will be coming off. They are really pretty painted, so I will be saving them for another project later on. And then the last thing I picked up are these red placemats. And I don't know if you can see the, the shimmeriness of them. I'll pull it up closer you can see them. They kind of have like a little sequin right at the join of each little stitch mark there. And the back side of them is red. So these will also be used for bags. I just thought they would be really pretty. They can make a great um, bag for Valentine's Day coming up next month. 
So that's my little haul. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.